because that's if a, they be married, thing, bro. That's another thing, though, bro. Because like, what is like? How do we measure what a lasting marriage is if, if divorce rates are up? Fifty percent of marriages fail. Yeah. Women, women divorce eighty percent of the time. Sixty percent yeah. of the marriages end in divorce, and seventy percent of those are are done by women. Yeah, the women mm -hmm. initiate them most of the time. Men have more to lose, so we fight for our marriages. We fight to try to keep the shit together, even though we don't really stand there, but we're trying to figure it out. But the crazy part about, right. about each of one of these marriages is that, is that a man knows that he's supposed to take care of the home, so he does his best to continue to work and work and work and work. But yep. the other side doesn't realize, hey, I'm doing this all. I'm doing everything that I'm doing to keep this shit going. <laughs> I'm not doing this to not just be home, but I, I'm doing it. I'm because doing it because I want to make sure my family's taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I realize you guys like being in a home. I realize that you guys like being in your own in your own room. I realize that my like wife the, likes like a certain car, and I realize <laughs> you guys like Comcast and all these other things. So I keep working to accrue and, and provide these things for you guys. But the other side is that someone is going, hey, you're not here enough. I'm here with these kids all the time and I don't get no help. That type of, you know what I'm saying, rhetoric. I, mean, it's just, I think what it is is also, it's a, it's a part of our social evolution where we're, uh, we're not ready to admit that we've kind of outgrown old conventions. It's like, we're still trying to, we're still trying to, we're trying to shoehorn all yeah we're trying to shoehorn shit into places that don't fit anymore yeah like mm -hmm. ever since ever since women joined the workforce the government gets taxes on both ends they get to tax both incomes you so it's in the best interest to keep us kind of off balance because why would you separate. want everybody start coupling up and saving yeah. money living in one space like think about yep. it like this too because i mean shit, the majority of men dealing with this so not only do you have to you know separate and whatever but you still have to put money into the other household if you have children there and you paying rent and bills at another place paying bills and part of that at the other place and then a woman paying shit on that too. So everybody's losing. You know, like and this the crazy is, part about it, not to cut you off, bro. The crazy no, no, part no, about you, it is a lot of us men are late to the class when it comes to this lesson because we're still trying to do the traditional thing. Like those of us who are like, you know, gainfully employed and physically yeah. responsible, we're we're late to the class <clears> when it comes <throat> to understanding that this shit don't work the way it worked for our fathers and our grandfathers. It no. don't work like that in the modern age, no. but we're still trying to make it happen. Yeah. We're out here, you know what I'm saying? We're still going to truck in school. We're getting, you know, uh, engineering degrees. We're going to school to become plumbers and electricians because we want to make that maximum amount of money, get the biggest bang for our buck and provide for our families. The difference is, is women want to work too. The, the difference is, is women want to work also. But you know here's, here's, they, here's, they, they here's want, a... They, they want their own money. They, here's the critical the part. Is, their money is their money. Correct. But here's the other critical part. While their money is their money, who's at home raising the children to keep the belief system going that we have? There, nobody even sits at the table and eat dinner any, together anymore. So, Nobody's helping with homework anymore. So if I'm out working and she's out working, that means that the TV is babysitting the kids. And some other person at a youth program or something else or at a school is babysitting my kid, mm -hmm. giving my kids information that I don't necessarily subscribe to. Yep. And then you can't even be 100 percent mad because no. you didn't take the reins of that situation completely as you should have. So and